Hello, welcome to Artha Chitra. In this video, I will demonstrate how to place multiple orders at a click of a button using the basket order view. So I have a market watch view opened and there are two instruments listed out here, namely the Nifty 14500 call and the Nifty 14600 call. So what I want to do is like I want to sell the 14500 call and buy the 14600 call. So it's basically a covered call strategy. And my goal is to place the orders at the least time interval to remove any latency related scenarios. So we can invoke the basket order view by right click clicking on the view and click on the option basket order. In the basket order view, we will click on the add button to invoke the order dialogs. Now let us go ahead and populate the ordered params. So first we will select the instrument here nifty 14500 call the order action will be sell and the order type will be market the product type is cash time in force is day the quantity is set to one contract since we are connected to the XTS API where the quantity is as per uh, number of contracts and not via lot size. Now please do remember we can pre-configure all these order type and product type and time in force uh, from main view, settings, options, order tab and we can change all this to predefine and pre-configure it basically set defaults value to it. Now here let us go ahead and click on the add button again to invoke uh, the second order dialog and here the instrument will be 14600 call which we want to buy the market type we will set it to market and the product type okay now here you can select any product type for example it can be cash margin or a bracket order or a cover order so here what we want to do is like we want to place a, a, a bracket order so that we select the product type as OCO which is equivalent to BO and we have to define an order template also. Now uh, please uh, do uh, watch our videos on this subject uh, on, on how to place uh, bracket orders and define order templates which further will illustrate. But for this purpose we will just go ahead and define an order template. We will click on the add button out here and in the order template view we will select one cancels other and we will name it OCO and we want to give a 10 rupee stop and a target so we will set the calculation mode to price the target will be 10 stop will be 10 and we are good to go now we will select the OCO uh, OCO template basically out here now please do remember this template is reusable so if we want another uh, order uh, in with the same uh, stop target settings we can simply add it and select the order template out here. So this is this is very handy in nature. So we don't need it. So we will just remove it. Now we are good to go basically. So we can simply submit the order. We will just click the OK button. OK, so, Sold Nifty this, is our, this is our this is our 14500 sell and this is our buy order basically and these are the stop and the targets so if we go to the chart for example here are our stops and a target out here so this is a very easy way to place you know you can place as many orders we don't uh, limit uh, the number of scripts but please do remember uh, the API may throttle the you know number of orders so just take care on that otherwise this is it now another cool feature is like in the basket order you can you know save the order params in a template for example let's say we wanna uh, for example here in the limit uh, we, we want to sell the nifty 14500 call and we will 
put a limit price let's say um, sell at 250 and we want to buy the 14600 call at a limit price of let's say 150 now what we can do is like we can save this in a template so we click on the save button and we append the name let's say name it test1 now if we close it and what we can do is like we can load it by clicking on the browse button out here so so here's our template it is uh, located in my documents artha chitra one basket order folder so if we open it so the settings have been populated basically so sell the instrument is there there okay so everything now one thing is missing is like the limit price is 237 and 168 and not what we defined you know 250 and 150 so this is the current market price now if you want to bring the you know populate the predefined price what we can do is like we will check the option this option is order price realized before op you know opening the template so we will go ahead and open it now if you see the limit price is 250 and here also the limit price is 150 as we have defined so that's it for now have thanks for your time